The days are over that I have to work from my kitchen table. I finally built my very first own YouTube studio and in this video I show it to you. Alexa, office on. Okay. When we got back from our world trip last year, we moved into this apartment and I had the chance to build my YouTube space, my own dream desk setup. And in this video, I want to show you what I have, why I have it and how it helps me to be more productive. There's still one thing missing, but I really don't want to put off the video any longer. And with a little bit of luck, it might arrive today. So let's begin with my desk setup. As I spent most of the time sitting at the desk, editing, scripting, having phone calls with my clients, I really wanted to get a height adjustable desk. This one is from Destronic and I'm more than happy with it. Setting up the table was very easy, it has a good price performance ratio. It is 180 by 80 centimeters, which gives me a lot of space and it is at the same time the biggest one they offer. The table comes in three different colors and I really like the look of it in walnut. The control unit allows me to set up three fixed heights and also enables me to charge my phone or any other accessory with the USB-A and USB-C slot on the other side. The only thing I added just recently are these table wheels. When I'm recording a video, it always was a pain in the ass to move the desk. Now it is a piece of cake. After watching many our desk setup videos, I also put a special focus on cable management. Using desk cable management trays like this right here under my desk ensures that every single cable and charger is out of sight. I only have one cord going to the outlet that is covered in this snake of cords from Doma, I think. You can find all the links in the description, by the way. For editing my videos, I use the Logitech NX Master 3S. It could be the best video editing mouse out there, since you can set their buttons according to the programs you use. For example, I use the wheel on the side to scroll the timeline. That alone saves me so much time. And the second wheel lets me zoom in and out. As a keyboard, I initially used my Windows keyboard for work when I realized that it's almost useless since I miss those Apple keys like C and D. So I got the Apple keyboard. Nothing special, but it does the job. To protect the desk, I'm using our XXL desk mat. I really love the design and the quality out of it. Uh, it gives me really a feeling being back on this world trip again. Let's move on to my monitor. You won't believe it, but up until the end of last year, I was using my MacBook's screen. And I can tell you that upgrading to a 32 inch 4K HDR external monitor is truly a game changer. It is considered as one of the best video editing monitors with a really good price performance ratio. I didn't want to spend a lot of money and decided on the BenQ EW3T7OU, I think. The monitor has an excellent contrast ratio of 3000 to 1, comes with USB-C and 4K with its huge 32 inch screen. But where this video editing monitor really shines is in its top notch color space coverage. 100% Rec. 709 and 95% DCI-P3. The monitor itself is mounted on this dual arm. I really wanted to have this floating look of my monitor. The reason I chose the double arm is because I can use the second arm as an extension for my external microphone. The Video Mic Pro Plus. It's not the best, but it does the job quite well. An NTG model from Rode would be a better choice, but it's also more expensive. Speaking of monitors, I use my MacBook as a second screen. It is the latest Intel model, the MacBook 16 inch from 2020. It's a base model and it still does the job, but I will be upgrading within the next few weeks. Just waiting for Apple to announce a new Mac Studio maybe? I really hope it. For long term storage, I use a Synology NAS that connects directly to this WD Elements tower that I used before I got the NAS. 8TB of storage and also has a good price performance ratio. And the last thing on my desk are my headphones. The Bose Quiet Comfort that I use to work on projects for my clients and I can hear every single detail of them. I just love them. 
You may be wondering where my speakers are now. I've been looking for a good Bluetooth speakers for a long time as I wanted to mount them on the wall as it gives me even more desk space and also allows me to connect my phone via Bluetooth if I just want to listen to music or some other stuff. Coming to my desk chair. Nothing special about this one, it costs only 50 euros and it fits perfectly into the overall design of the studio. Simple, black, height adjustable. And in order to keep my desk as clean as possible, I have this container here on wheels on the left side under my table. It got everything I need within reach while I'm working, starting with pen and paper, external hard drives and other things like business cards. Acoustic treatment plays an important role in audio recording, so I attach this acoustic foam to the wall. To be honest, they don't help much, but it looks cool. I may do a very different video on acoustic treatment as I plan to build my own acoustic panels for the ceiling, but that's for another video. If you're interested in such a video, just let me know in the comments below. And last but not least, my light setup for shooting videos. I use the Godox SL150 Mark II as the main light in combination with a softbox from Newer, which has a diameter of 120 centimeters. It gives me a soft light and is bright enough even in the dark. Also, I attach this LED stripe to the back of my desk and monitor. When I find the time to play a video game, I use this as my gaming light. It can also be controlled with Alexa. Now we come to the back part of the studio. Beginning with my charging board, which I'm pretty proud of because it's self-made. I measured everything and then attached the velcro to the back of the charger. A bit of fiddly work was attaching the charger to the pegboard. I used cable ties for this. To attach it to the wall, I glued simple wall hooks to the wall. Unfortunately, I could not drill, but that way I can always simply take the pegboard off and take it with me to client shoots if necessary. So I have all the chargers and batteries in one place, even the ones from my throne. Very convenient. In the corner here, right under my charging board, I have this plant. It doesn't require much care and sets a nice tone to the overall look of the studio. It also gets highlighted by this floor lamp from Goovy. Next to my charging station is my workshop. It is one of the latest and greatest updates to my studio. For the past few weeks, my equipment has just been laying around the floor, but I thought that I really need another solution for it. And not only do I have this heavy duty shelf here for storage, I can easily grab and go as I need my stuff. I also use this as my unboxing packages and rig building table. I have a socket here where I can charge all of my ARA camera equipment, my gimbal for example or my screwdriver always plugged in and ready to go. Onto this shelf here. I stored most of my camera gear here when I first started building my studio. It now serves more and more as a decorative background for my YouTube videos. I really like this neon light which I got as a gift from my girlfriend. Now if we move on to this corner here, you will find my printer and the narrow shelf. I use it for equipment, small parts and also a kind of inbox. These are documents I need to work on. If we look at the last corner of my studio right next to my desk, we see my relax and reading area. I got this bookshelf here from Amazon. I really try to read regularly and when I'm reading, I like books where I can learn something from. Currently I'm reading The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People and I can highly recommend reading this book. The couch and the two tables are from Amazon as well and when I'm reading, I use this arc lamp. Placed over my head, it gives me a good light for reading. And now a very important part of my studio is the color of my walls. I've been researching a lot and looking for the best wall paint for video editing. And I can finally say that there is no specific color to choose from. Neither should it be dark or white. It should be something around 25% black. Black would be too dark and white would reflect too much light of the walls. And not only does it help with editing, it also sets a nice accent in the room. Last but not least, the wall decoration of my studio. There are two pictures. This one here is from Werner Herzog, The 24 Rules of Filmmaking. And right here above my desk is a world map. I got it from my brother for Christmas. It kind of represents my world trip and sometimes I just look at it and I remember how big and small the world is at the same time. And lastly, I can say that I put a lot of time into my studio. I love working here and the whole atmosphere helps me to be more productive. I hope you found this video helpful and got some inspiration for your own desk setup. And if you did, 
Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for videos like this in the future. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and see you in the next one.